Welcome! In this video I will show you how to set up VirtualBox on your Mac OS and we will install in VirtualBox Windows 10. So first of all we need to download and install VirtualBox. You can go to the official site virtualbox.org and on the main page you see download VirtualBox and the latest version. So when you click this button you go to the host and uh, select operating system you are using right now. Is it Windows, OS X or Linux or Solaris? So in my case it's OS X. So let's click it and uh, as you see we started downloading. When it will be downloaded we can go to the next important step. Go to the microsoft.org com official website and uh, then change URL to this one and you will see a page where you can download virtual machine with Windows 10 for free. So as you see it will be available for 90 days and uh, it will be for free for 90 days. Now you can select Windows 10 with the browser MS Edge, it will be x4064 and then you need to select to uh, choose a virtual machine platform. In our case it's a virtual box, so let's select it. Then you see download button, then you press this button and uh, you will have your disk with everything what you need. Let's click it. And as you see there will be Windows 10, it's almost 7 GB of data, but it's what you need. So let's download everything and uh, continue. Now when we download Microsoft, not Microsoft, Oracle VirtualBox, let's click it. And uh, we will install VirtualBox. First of all let's move it to the applications. And now let's install it. Let's allow and press continue and all default installation. Now let's open VirtualBox and uh, try to set up Windows Virtual Machine. So let's type VirtualBox and uh, let's create a new instance. We will call it. So it will be, will be Microsoft Windows 64 bit and uh, press continue. Let's put, for example, 6 gigabytes. Press continue and we will use existing virtual hard drive because of we download it. So let's select it. In case you don't have it, let's go to downloads or in my case it will be on, it's on the desktop. We will use this virtual disk. Let's open it. It's here and uh, choose. Then press create. And as you see you have virtual you have your first machine. Let's press start. Hmm, we have error. Let's try to solve this error. It's a kernel kernel drive not installed RC 1908. Uh, let's close it. Let's try to go system preferences privacy and security, security and privacy and uh, on the general tab you will see that software, system software from developer Oracle was blocked. We need allow it. Let's press lock authorization and uh, press allow. After that we need to restart system, restart your computer. 
and we will do it. So very important part, notice. This message will be here, will appear only during the 30 minutes after installation of VirtualBox. After that, you won't see it. So if you don't see this, this notification, just remove your VirtualBox and install it again. I did it for myself, so it will work for you as well. So just do it. And now we will restart our computer and check how it works. After restart, let's run VirtualBox again and check, will it work or not. So we have our Windows 10, let's press start. So we see that we need receive keystrokes, let's open system preferences and uh, again unlock and uh, enable and let's reopen it again so we provided all rights we need so let's close it and let's try run it again so we had it and uh, now when we start it you see that we have Windows 10. Okay, now we can close it and let's open it view full screen switch. Now we need to play with, uh, uh, with VirtualBox to set up proper UI. And as you remember, we need to type password. It's from this documentation, it's password this way. So as you see, we have our Windows 10 computer operating system. Now let's try to play it with it and set up some UI. So what we need, oh, as you see, it was automatically resized to the proper, to my screen. Uh, also, you can always set to uh, personalize and um, so also don't forget virtual box guest editions update. Let's click it. So you can uh, clipboard 
uh, bidirectional enable it and you can copy from the one computer and put pa pa past paste to the another one a network we use it and also let's insert guest additional CD image and we need to run this vbox windows additionals exam This program will fix some issues with VirtualBox and it will work much, much better and faster with auto scaling. Reboot now, finish. And now, as you see, we have our Windows 10 on VirtualBox. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel.